So I had been talking about uh, uh, my approach to uh, Christianity that I have, uh, of course, been growing up with in a conventional uh, Protestant Lutheran manner. And uh, also I have been talking about the uh, Alemannic and Satanic uh, technology that I'm using here and that I'm very grateful for because that's the whole point of uh, Christianity is that there is a um, there is this uh, ongoing conflict between good and evil and uh, I had uh, understood finally when uh, uh, when I was over and over told that yes uh, what uh, what is the trick of the uh, of the evil spirit is to pretend he is not there or she uh, and uh, so that is a logical thing uh, but uh, <coughs> now we are facing a time in history that is uh, where uh, where the injustice and and, and whatever uh, whatever else uh, betrayal lies deceit cruelty stupidity is so in our face uh, that uh, there must be a very very strong force behind it and. Uh, so lately I went back to uh, the teacher, uh, Rudolf Steiner, at whose university I had been studying and I um, had totally abandoned this. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Uh, I thought it was part of, you know, the evil. And uh, now I see that it is, as it is part of, quote unquote, yeah, the evil, yeah, as uh, Shelley McLean would say, evil is spelled life backwards. It's very interesting. Um, that um, it's like uh, it's like there are poisonous substances in nature but in the right um, in the right way of taking them in the right amount they are very powerful medicines so um, uh, what is this world of steiner has been doing is that he has actually opened up a, uh, a century and i would even say millennia old tradition of secret societies and he has come out with it and he has uh, actually followed this uh, Madame Blavatsky and Annie Bezin, who were women in a time where women were still much more discriminated than they are today. And um, so uh, through him, uh, I have uh, learned uh, things that uh, by the time I had studied, were not available to me because they were only for the for the um, anthroposophical society and now all these lectures are open to the public and they are uh, free see and this is something that very much uh, also is um, convincing me of the integrity of a movement and there is like really there's no uh, absolute right uh, that I can like pinpoint outside of you know uh, outside of my own uh, conscience uh, that we really have to become our own teachers but uh, uh, by becoming teachers yeah our own teachers uh, that doesn't mean we must not a uh, um, forget and disrespect the elders we have learned from.
and uh, the whole subject of uh, my introduction talk here is uh, owning nothing and being happy and uh, so this is uh, on a very material level because the question is when you leave when you leave your body what are you taking with you that's the big 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 question because that's all you're going to have that's all you see so um so the question is how do we cultivate cultivate this uh, uh this what actually is ours for eternity because that's what we're here for it's like this is like this is like a garden for uh, for uh, you know this, this plane of earth this material plane it's, it's like a garden for uh, uh, learning how to uh, to garden to, to create to grow something yes and um, it's, so this has been taken from us in the so-called industrial revolution it was very very clear that the laborers who put together a car would have such a, a such fragmented work that they would never ever have the idea of doing making a car themselves and this is a reality we're living in and it's becoming worse and worse and worse so i'm going to stop right here and um i hope i don't lose this thread because uh, there is something really important that uh, uh, I want to convey in this uh, particular time and uh, uh, place of history. And bear with me. It's eventually going to come out, but you have to have patience. Like we have to have patience when we deal with what grows instead of what we think like is click. Uh, you know, at our fingertips, and we order it, and we have money, and then we get it. This is, this is, this times are gone. They're absolutely gone. And uh, for those who uh, don't know anything else as being in control over their lives, they're gonna suffer very, 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 very much. That's why I am doing these talks. Even though I may not as pretty as so many uh, other so-called influencers, and I don't wear makeup, and I haven't seen a, a beauty a beautician or a facial treatment in more than twenty years, and I didn't have uh, insurance to have my teeth fixed, and da 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 da. So having no money, it shows. In a way, it shows. But, um, imagine you living in a tribal society, there is none of that, you just don't have it, you, you, are, you are aging in grace and you're becoming an elder and that means automatically you are becoming a teacher. Okay, till we meet again. <laughs>